Hey you guys, it's me Gemstone from TarotForHealing.com. I hope you guys are doing really well. Sorry if this video is dark because I can't do much about it, <laughs> to be honest. And I really wanted to just make this video today because if I don't do it today, I don't know when I'll be able to do it. So, And um, it's been ages uh, from the time I uploaded the first set of uh, November videos to these ones. So let's do this i'm going to be starting off with your playing cards and then i'm going to be using the chrysalis tower to get into the more specific areas of your life so the first playing card is the seven of diamonds the ten of diamonds and the six of clubs with the four of diamonds so what these cards are really speaking to me about is that i think that they're really connecting with somebody that is looking for a place to stay or looking for a home to move into I think that the seven of diamonds is um, saying that uh, maybe you've been trying for a while even to save up money for a deposit um, to put on a house to either rent or buy or something like that and maybe you've been you know slashing away money for quite some time and then finally the money is enough for you to get a place to stay and I think it's gonna feel like um, it's going to feel like wherever you end up, it may even be better than where you're currently living or where you've lived in before. So it might be like a really nice place or something like that. And so I think that you're going to be really happy with the results of things. Um, with both of those cards, with the four, with the ten of diamonds and the four of diamonds, they both are, are cards that for me like represent home and family life and stuff like that. And so I think that it's going to, all that that kind of related stuff, home, family, life, and things are going to be going really well for you. And again, if you've been searching for another property, November might be the time where you move. So um, getting into your uh, tarot cards, you have the five of diamonds with the two of stones. So this is kind of interesting because when I looked at your playing cards as well, I kind of did get the idea that finances may be going kind of okay but i think that these are finances again that is connected with either putting money away or stashing money either for some kind of larger purchase or again like a deposit for a house or something like that but then what i'm kind of seeing with your playing cards is that it's saying that you're not you're not pleased with um some situations that have to do with your money or the money that you're making maybe you're kind of feeling like like the way this bear is it's almost like he wants to get over the other side but this gap is preventing him from getting over the other side so it could be saying that maybe you're in a job where you kind of feel like there's this glass ceiling that you can't get above and um or feeling like you know other people are being promoted and you're not being promoted or um again the money that you think that you should be earning you're not earning um or it could even be maybe you're struggling to get into a certain industry and you're just finding it too hard to break into that industry. But there's something that it's like you feel is preventing you from the success that you would like to see. And the five of mirrors is like saying that, again, there's this sense of disappointment or, or looking at the negative versus the positive. So the cards might be saying, yeah, fair enough, the money you get might not be a great amount of money, but at the same time, it's sort of saying, you know, be grateful that you also have a job <laughs> to complain about. Like, some people don't even have a job to complain, you know? So it's like, um, yeah, it's just telling you to be appreciative for what you have, even if what you have may not be exactly what you want. The Two of Stones can also be saying that you need to sort of budget your money pretty well. Uh, maybe in order for your money to go a bit further, you have to maybe cut back on certain things also. Um, but I kind of feel like you don't want to have to do that. Like you don't want to have to be cutting back all the time on things. You want to be able to just be able to afford the things that you want to do. And of course, all of us want to be able to do that. But then at the same time, we have to kind of be realistic and sort of see, okay, this is how far my money is going. So this is how much I can spend. So I have to kind of work within my means so yes those are the cards that show up for your finances um for those of you that are in relationships you have the high priestess with the eight of mirrors this eight of mirrors wants to come back like um quite a bit <laughs> but um the high priestess with the eight of mirrors is sort of telling me that 
I kind of feel for some of you, if you've been in a relationship, you may feel like your partner hasn't been honest with you about something or they haven't been as open as they should be about certain situations. Um, it might be difficult because you might have felt like you're the one that created this or brought this relationship together. Like maybe you really just wanted to be with this person. So you decided to, you know, connect with them. But then I kind of can see you feeling disappointed also in a relationship too. And it's either this person might be either walking away or you might be the one walking away. But I feel like either way, um, there's something kind of going on behind your back, I feel, with this, uh, with this person. And so I would say kind of be careful of that kind of thing. And, um, or it might even be their feelings. Maybe they're not even telling you how they really feel um, about this relationship. But there's something that they're keeping within themselves and it has to be said or it has to be addressed. Um, because I think that if it's not addressed, it's it's going to come out either way. And I I've, I've kind of get this feeling that if it does come out, it would just make things worse. Like it's better for it to be addressed and for it to be known now versus um, down the line. So for those of you that are single, you have the King of Scrolls with the Eight of Stones. And I kind of feel for some of you guys, you might be trying to get with somebody else. Maybe even that might be the secret to this relationship that I was seeing previously. I kind of was feeling that maybe the other person is keeping a secret. But then at the same time, it, it could possibly be you keeping a secret that maybe you're even interested in somebody else. So it could be that as well. But then what I kind of see here is that if you're single, you may be wanting to reconnect with somebody that is a, uh, I was about to say swords, <laughs> they're an air sign. So they can be a Libra, Aquarius or a Gemini. So, and they might be very charismatic, just like this guy's kind of looking. <laughs> um, he, <clears throat> they might be somebody that, I feel like this is a person from the past, like this isn't a new individual. So it just might be you just reconnecting with them, <clears throat> meeting up with them. Maybe you're going to go out on a date or something like that. But I kind of feel like you're wanting to explore the future potential of a relationship with this person. Um, your spirit cards are the um, hero, which is the fool in a traditional tarot, and the three of stones, which will be the three of pentacles. Um... You're looking, <laughs> these, these spiritual cards are kind of saying that the thing that is sort of getting to you the most is your finances and your money. So that might be actually disturbing you, like, on more of an internal level. And so it's, maybe you're kind of thinking, oh, if I can get that situation sorted out, it'll make me feel so much better within myself. And so I think for some of you guys, you're looking for a new start when it comes to work and money. For some of you guys, you might be focused on using your talents and gifts and abilities in order to bring income or money for you as well. Or maybe you're thinking of how you can utilize those things um, to bring in maybe some kind of extra money. So, and I think this might be a good avenue for you to go down. Um, you know, use what you're already blessed to do. Uh, it just makes sense because I feel like when you use what you're the skills that you've been blessed with, you're always going to be able to find some kind of means of making money out of those things. So um, if you're kind of fe feeling like what you're doing now just isn't satisfying you, isn't just, you know, it's not bringing you the money, but then it also isn't really making you feel like that's what you really want to do. It's kind of saying sort of look at other avenues and again, look at what your look at where your gifts lie, and where your gifts lie will lead you to the right situation or the right opportunity. So, yes, peace and many blessings to you. I'll see you, Taurus. Bye.